Let's see how you can set up your Google Tag Manager inside of your LightFunnels account. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to your Google Tag Manager and you want to create a new account or you can use an existing account that you already have. I'm going to create a new account and I'm going to call it LightFunnels Demo Video. Choose your country and enter your domain name here. And then um, for the target platform is going to be web. We're going to create. Now, once the account is created, you can close this window. All we need is the tag manager ID that is right here. You're going to copy that and you're going to go to your LightFunnels settings under tracking. You're going to find Google Tag Manager and you're going to paste it here. So that's the first step. The second step is to download the Google Tag Manager container that from this link right here. And once that's downloaded, you're going to go back to your Google Tag Manager and you're going to go to admin and then import. In here, you're going to upload the file that you have just downloaded. And you either choose an existing workspace or a new one. Because I just created a new one, I'm going to choose existing and choose the default workspace. And I'm going to overwrite and confirm. And you can see that he, this has created uh, several triggers for me. And each trigger has a uh, tag that goes with it. And what this means is that whenever something happens on Light Funnels, for example, someone adds a payment method, this trigger will be triggered. Uh, if uh, someone adds something to the cart, this, this trigger will be triggered and the data for that event will be sent to Google Tag Manager. Uh, so let's see, for example, if you go to tags and we take the example of add to cart, you will see that uh, this add to cart tag will be triggered whenever uh, an uh, add to cart event happens on Light Funnels. So in order to demonstrate this, let me go ahead and uncomment this line right here. And we will be able to see in the console on the store that we have the data that is uh, going to be uh, logged on the console whenever uh, this event happens. Okay, so let's save. And last thing we want to do, of course, is go ahead and publish the changes. Now that the changes are published, let's go to LightFunnels admin and we will open a store here. And the first thing we want to do is make sure tracking is enabled with Google Tag Manager. So that's already enabled here, which is good. Now we will visit the store and I'm going to right click and inspect in order to see the console. I'm getting some errors here because I have the um, ad blocker enabled. Let me disable that. And clear, refresh. Okay, so let's disable warnings. All right, so if we go ahead and choose a product, for example, let's, let's choose kitchen and we will go for this product, for example, and we will add it to the cart. Now that the product is added to the cart, if you check your console, you will, you will see that we have a log of that event, the add to cart event. And in under e-commerce, we have all the information currency and the items that were added to the cart. So this works the same way for the purchase, for the uh, page visit. And that's how you set up your Google Tag Manager with your LightFunnels account. Now, if you are a developer or an integration and you want to add your code to the LightFunnels account of your user, what you can do is you can create uh, the tags inside of your uh, Tag Manager. And then you go to Admin and then you export the container and you share it with your users. They'll be able to import it and merge it with the container that they already have. And that's it. That's how you set up your Google Tag Manager.